Hello guys, welcome. Welcome back on the Technology Belfair. I'm highly curious tutorial to tell you in this tutorial how to downgrade iOS from latest updated iOS in your iPhone's device. As we know that without losing any data how you access or how do you access to rollbacks iOS from latest updated. So first and foremost, we will check it out automatically. Automatically, if it is recommending or this device is recommending, then of course we will do by itself with the help of these phones. Otherwise, of course, we will go with a especially PC or laptop. And of course, surely 100%, I will show you trick and tips by assessing of that, by execution similar strategy, you will be able to downgrade it. Either you have the intention to uh, jailbreak, bypass, and of course, it's a very important to uh, downgrade of IPSW in your iPhone device. So tap on a phone settings, and the phone of course you will have to come in a general. Click on a software update. It has a started to recommend, especially. See. Firstly, checking. Now it's saying that is this iOS that is 17.5 is up to date so in that condition if you would like to go back from 17.5 to 17.4 17.3 or 16 how do you access in that condition guys simply you will have to go for the run as administrator that is this fish line 3 u2 just go for run as administrator connect your data cable from your device to a pc or laptop so now see here it has been connected click on a smart mm -hmm. flash Click on a refresh. Now see we have options 7.5. This is working right now. Now we would like to come here. It has recommended that you will have to go in a firstly 17.4.1 beta show. If you would like to go downgrade, go for downgrading of this IPS tool by or with the help of or via especially this tool, then firstly you will have to attempt here to download. After downloading, if you don't want to lose your data, whatever apps and application or any MS data, photos, anything you have in your iPhone's device, of course, you can return it. So all the data, you, all the especially users' data can be retained by a selecting or selecting of those options, that is retain user data. And the phone, of course, suppose uh, uh, this one I have uh, downloaded and uh, if I hit here, it will uh, start to yes, upload or especially install this IPSW that is a 70.5 without losing any data. Whatever the data is inside, that will be a remain, that will be a retained, guys. Uh, the phone, directly you would like to go from 7.5 to beta to 17.3 17.2 or 16 then directly you can import by clicking here so where you will get ipsw latest ones or downgraded ipsw yes you will have to come on the google search bar here just you need to type ipsw hit this enter button and the of course you have to come on this website whatever your IPSW will recommend that you will have to access it. Select the products and the point of course and this product is a Pro Max so of course we will go for at hit the closet and the point once again we will try internet quality is a little bit slow guys that's why it's having the problem but uh, of course if there is a recommendation directly 17.3 7.2 then just you had to uh, download guys from there and after downloading of course directly you can see 7.4 7 7.2 7.4.1 7.4 difference just you uh, you will hit here to download firstly 7.3 7.1 this is a uh, of course directly after downloading you can import it uh, uh, and the point of course see here do you have how do you access to a download suppose this one we would like to a download so here this one here is options to a download guys directly download after downloading of course you will have to import click here and that's download just elect there and the point after elections see 
This is IPSW 13.7.5. So if you would like to relax then of course it will start with the verifier here after verification just you will have to select this one hit this one options automatically within 5 to 10 minutes of course this IPSW will be uh, downgraded. So right now firstly we will have to download so just I am trying to download here guys and thereupon after downloading we will execute and thereupon of course once again we will go for by connecting this data cable from the PC yes from a device to the PC we will refresh and once again we will have two three options to a downgraded upgraded options there once again we will access and then one by one step by step you will have to downgrade guys because you are going to especially without having the permission of these iPhones yes unsigned IPSW you are going to especially and install on your iPhone's device so of course you will have a little bit of course the hard works so right now see it's a it has started to a download but it's a total capacity or size of and this one is approximately 7 GB more than so it will take time so guys so this is all about in this video tutorial otherwise the video will be landing but similar strategy you need to execute yes if you found this is informative and knowledgeable from that of course don't forget like subscribe and hit them is subscription of these channels and share this contents because maybe beneficial who is a highly inquisitorial or interested to have this kind of the information by free of course from these channels this is all about in this video tutorials thank you for visiting technology welfare have a great time bye bye